In this video tutorial, we're going to download and install VMware Player and the Department of Computer Science Virtual Machine. First, we need to download the virtual machine image. It can be found at the Computer Science Moodle or http colon forward slash forward slash moodle.cs.colorado.edu. Once at the Moodle, you want to click on the click here to download the CS Department virtual machine. This will open a new window. Again, click the click here to download computer science virtual machine. You're going to want to save the file. The file is quite large, so it might take some time to download. Next, we need to download VMware Player. We can download it from the VMware website at www.vmware.com slash download slash player. Once at the download website, you want to click on the download link for the latest version. At the time of this video, 2.5.2. Before you can download VMware Player, you need to fill out some basic contact information. After filling out the required contact information, you will be given a link to the download page. Click the Download Now button. You will have to scroll down to the bottom of the web page to agree to the terms of their end user license agreement. After clicking Accept, you want to click on the VM Player 2.52 for Windows download link. Again, save the file. Once both downloads are finished, it's time to install VM Player. First, it's probably a good idea to move the files from the default download folder into a folder of your choosing. Once the files have been copied, double click on the VM Player installer. Click the Next button. The default installation location should be fine. Next, you can choose whether you'd like to have shortcuts created. This is a personal preference. Click install. The install could take several minutes. Once the install has finished, click the finish button. The installer will prompt you to restart your computer. Click yes. Once your computer has restarted, it's time to extract the virtual machine image. First, go to the folder which contains the VM image. This is wherever you moved it after we had moved it from the original download folder. Next, right click on the image and then select Extract All. Usually it will provide a folder to extract it to. This default is fine. Click Extract. The file is very large so it might take some time to fully extract. Once the extraction is completed, you'll see a new folder that contains the extracted virtual machine. Now it's time to boot the virtual machine. Start VM Player. Before you can use VM Player, you must agree to its terms of use. Now you want to open the virtual machine. Navigate to the folder which contains the extracted virtual machine image. You want to click on the U9.04 server base. It will prompt you to take ownership of the virtual machine. Click the Take Ownership button. The virtual machine has been moved, so we want to select I moved it and click OK. This is showing all of the peripherals attached to the virtual machine. Now, the virtual machine is actually booting. Once the boot is completed, you will see the desktop for a full Ubuntu distribution running inside VM Player. 